Hello everyone, this is Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host, and this is another episode of Health and Wellness Tips. I'm actually dressed this way for a reason. I'm here very briefly to talk to you about how important walking for continued health has to be. Walking is something that you and I, kind of like breathing, uh, that we take for granted. Uh, and I think we need to talk a little bit about how beneficial the mostly simple act of walking can be for continued health and wellness. So for that, stay tuned. I don't know about you, but I have a couple of sources that I consult uh, on a weekly, sometimes daily basis, just to be well informed about how I can best maintain my health and wellness as I continue to age. What to eat, what exercise really works and why, and the list goes on and on. And one of those sources that I frequently consult is a source that I want to share with you right now on the subject of walking. I found the following article, the following post on their website uh, earlier this week, and I thought, ah, this is something I really need to discuss with you today. The um, website that I frequently consult that this bit of information comes from is called dailyhealthpost.com. It's a wonderful website full of very helpful and useful nutritional uh, exercise and wellness information. And this is the title of this particular post on their website. How only 15 minutes of walking can literally change everything. And this is how the post reads. Walking is the most ordinary thing that a human can do. Unless we have a physical impairment, we take this activity completely for granted just about each and every day. A French study suggests that we should start paying more attention to the many benefits of walking, especially as we age. The impact of a simple act of walking in adults over 65 years of age had a remarkable effect. Over the course of a particular 12-year study, regular walking of just 15 minutes a day reduced the rate of mortality of those studied in the study by 22%. Of course, the rate was even higher with longer and more frequent activity levels. A lead researcher in this study says this, age is not an excuse to do no exercise. It is well established, they go on to say, that regular physical activity has a better overall effect on health than any medical treatment. A profound statement by this researcher and they go on to say this but less than half of older adults actually achieve the recommended suggestions of walking to keep one's health on a positive level this finding should come as no surprise because it is so basic to us the act of walking has been extensively studied for its effects on various aspects of the human condition some people don't see walking as an aerobic exercise and then unfortunately don't receive its many benefits the definition of aerobic exercise is that which stimulates heart and respiratory rates to pump additional oxygen to muscles. Even a slow stroll does that. That's important. Walking doesn't have to be a huge deal. Walking can be done each and every day in the form of a slow stroll. When you do, 
a slow stroll. And I'm dressed this way because I'm going to go out walking after this episode is done and I finish presenting it to you. But even a slow stroll will give you the many benefits of walking to improve your health. Why would you not do that if it's physically possible for you to do? Increased cardiovascular, respiratory, and circulatory benefits can be realized when you walk. It means that nutrients go where they must go to support the exercise of walking, which affects your general health. Energy is used rather than stored, and your organs, muscles, and bones end up being strengthened. Our bodies are meant for movement. Let me say that again. Your body is meant for movement. Without doubt, a sedentary lifestyle that omits adequate exercise actually leads to illness. Walking outdoors, do you do that often? Maybe not when it's freezing or blistering hot, but something in between. But walking outdoors, of course, has a particularly supportive effect on mental health. Natural surroundings away from electronics like your TV and cell phone plus other distractions actually improve mood when you're away from all that, decrease stress, and lower feelings of depression. Sunshine nourishes us with essential vitamin D, the deficiency of which is becoming almost an epidemic in today's industrial world. Walking indoors is almost as good. A study at Stanford University found that walking on a treadmill facing a blank wall resulted in almost as many creative responses as being outside. But you don't have to walk on a treadmill to realize that. You can walk up and down the hallways in your community or around the parking lot. Be careful doing that, please, and so on and so forth. So uh, if you don't walk, Joints are deprived of life-giving fluid, which can speed deterioration. The American Heart Association advocates walking to lower risk of hypertension, high cholesterol, stroke, and diabetes. It recommends a minimum of 30 minutes of physical activity a day, uh, but if you can't do that, do what you can. It is so much uh, better if you just walk five minutes every day than not walking at all. So I think you get my point. I think you get the picture. Please, I care about you. Care about yourself as well and experience the many benefits that I have highlighted here with this website's help of walking. If you aren't going to do it, who will? So I am going to go out and go for a walk. How about you? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the parking lot or in your hallway walking. And until then, this has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host with another episode of Health and Wellness Tips. Be happy, be well, be at peace, be joyous, be all about what love is. Thanks for joining me. See you next episode.